Rafał Trochimczuk. Journey of my life. Journey of my life. Rafał Trochimczuk. Dear Toastmasters, who of you ever had a journey of your life? Please raise your hands. Good. And who of you is planning a journey of your life? That's better. That's what I like. Because the journey of your life will be the journey of your life when you remember it for all your life. And in my case, there were a couple of journeys of my life, and today I would like to cover a couple of stories. But the thing is that in journey of your life, the location doesn't really matter. You can go anywhere, to Kielce, to Pruszków, or somewhere else. What matters is what you do, what happened to you, and whom you talk to. And in my case, the journey of your life, and my life, happened to be in Caribbean islands, far away from here in Puerto Rico. And it was a special occasion because it was a honeymoon. And it was no other way out because whenever we got married before that, we decided, yeah, we go to Puerto Rico. That's what we did. Puerto Rico is a great exotic island with great people. And it's very American because you pay dollars there. They have wide roads, wide houses, and as you know, wide people, just like in America. But they also have many links to Poland. First of all, they love Polish Pope. How is that? Well, one day we went to a beautiful city of San Germain, which was in the middle of the jungle. It was the former capital of Puerto Rico. And then after going around the old town, which was very nice, we were the only tourists. And then we went to the town hall, and then we were only tourists as well. That's why, after going from one story to another, we found two guys sitting at the table with a big book. And they said, oh, come on, come on, come here. Could you please sign into our book of guests? I said, OK, well, let's do it. So it was June. So we saw the last signature was in March. So we signed in. And they said, we signed name, surname, and nationality. And they say, oh, you are from Poland. That's great. You are from the land of Pope. And it was three years ago, so John Paul II was gone. And we said, no, now there is a German Pope, Benedict XVI. And he said, we don't like Benedict XVI. <laughs> and I said, why? Because he's German. <laughs> and he said, what? And he said, you know, Puerto Rico is a very small island somewhere in the middle of Caribbean Sea. And normally there was no war, no invasions, and no Germans there. <laughs> but the guy said, you know, history shows that you, know, that you cannot trust Germans. <laughs> so, okay. That's why we left the city, and then we moved to another one, which was also very linked to Polish history. Because in Polish history, it happens that many people died in battles, in wars, in uprisings. Well, Puerto Rican history is also similar to this extent. Now that's why we went to the city of Ponce. We took our car, left it on the street, and went to see beautiful old town, great ice creams, and great fountains. And then we came back to see the city of Ponce. One thing, Grande Massacre del Ponce. And Grande Massacre del Ponce, in city of Ponce, is the biggest slaughter, the biggest massacre that ever happened in Puerto Rican history, and it happened at the end of 19th century. Normally, when you hear about massacre, about slaughteries, there are massive deaths. There are thousands, hundreds of people that are died in the streets. Normally, at least 50. But in Puerto Rico, the proportion of people that died in Grande Massacre del Ponce was proportional to the size of the island, which is small, very small, five people. <laughs> five people died in Grande Massacre del Ponce. Well, we saw the building. It was very nice, took a photo. 
And then we were coming back to our car. Our car was in city, somewhere in the middle of the street. Well, to our surprise, there was a policeman from Puerto Rico. And he started a conversation in Spanish, because in Puerto Rico, not many, oh, very little people speak English, although they pay dollars. And it was something like this. Hablos, 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 bomba, bomberas, $100. <laughs> and he was repeating it. Hablos, 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 bomba, bomberas, $100. <laughs> he said, OK, he wants $100, because this was the only thing that we could understand, actually. <laughs> And we said, OK, we don't have dollars. We can pay you in Zloty, but under a condition that you will give us your account number. And then we started exchanging the conversation. Somewhere in between, the communication was going nowhere. Well, Puerto Rican people are very friendly and very open. And when we were exchanging the conversation, there was an elder, elderly lady coming by. And she jumped into the conversation with the policeman. She also didn't speak English. <laughs> and she started exchange. Hablos, 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 hablos. Well, we are standing there, seeing them. In Puerto Rico, there is a golden rule. Whenever they don't speak English, they know someone that knows someone that knows someone that speaks English. <laughs> and we were lucky in this case, because the lady, after a few minutes, she went to her house just behind, and she took another guy. Unfortunately, the guy was speaking English, American English. And he said, welcome to Puerto Rico. How are you guys? Don't worry about this policeman. You are standing near the hydrant. And whenever bomberos, which are the firemen, will come and want to put the fire down, which is bomba, they won't be able to plug the pipe to the hydrant. And that's why the policeman wanted $100 for this. So he said, no worries, no worries. You are new here. You know, you are foreigners. You can just shake hands with the policeman, and you can go away. That's what we did. What's the conclusion from this story? The conclusion is very simple. That no matter where you go, no matter where you stay, no matter how far you are, but the most important thing are the local people. Because the local people are the key success for the journey of your life.